Hello everyone. Today I want to chat with you about turning your ebook into a actual printed book that your readers or subscribers or whoever you're targeting can actually hold in their hands. And I'll talk about why you should do this and then I'll walk you through the steps that you should take to actually do it. But first I want to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Brombos of Blogger to Author. I'm a best-selling author on Amazon and I really love helping my clients and my followers turn their content into books that really help them build authority and credibility and help them build their businesses or blogs or whatever it is they want to do as well. Uh, so I, again, I would like to start by talking about why it's important to get your book into print because I know a lot of bloggers, especially, they will sell ebooks and they say, okay, that's enough. I just want to do an ebook. But having your book actually in print, having a physical product that somebody can hold in their hands is a big differentiator for just about anybody out there. And one of the reasons is because just about every blogger these days does have a ebook that they sell on their blog, especially people who are serious about making money from their blogs. And so it's incredibly common to have an ebook. But what an ebook means. It spans a big, big range between some people will call just a five to 10 page PDF an ebook. Somebody will call a 100 or 200 page PDF an ebook. Or, you know, maybe they've got it converted into an EPUB or a Mobi, that sort of thing. So you could read it on an e reader specifically. Um, so the term ebook. Uh, it means a lot of different things, especially uh, with how widely it is used by some people. And so when you're selling an ebook, sometimes it's difficult for your potential customers, your potential book readers to figure out whether or not that book is actually going to be valuable uh, just because the market is so saturated with ebooks. And a lot of people will give ebooks away for free as well and so it's again difficult to for a lot of people to determine the value of your book and so that's when getting your book into print can help also there are a lot of people who just prefer to have a book in print to read it and some of these people absolutely will if you sell them a pdf they'll print it out and use that but having that bound book is different it has a different feel to the paper it's just a different perceived quality and it's something that's absolutely a distinguishing factor as well because like I said a lot if not a majority of serious bloggers will have an ebook on their website not everybody has it in print and so it does still set you apart from a lot of other people in your niche but it's also a lot easier to get your book into print than you think and that's thanks to these print on demand options so things like create space uh, barnes and noble has a print on demand option blurb is another one that's commonly used and essentially with these places what you do is you upload a file usually a pdf although it can vary from printer to printer and then when somebody goes on and orders your book from for example from amazon then they will print that copy and send it directly to them so what's nice about that is it lowers the cost for you and it's a much simpler process than having to work with an actual book printer that does large offset runs uh it, it it takes more capital it's more expensive you have to find the right printer that sort of thing so there's a lot more involved which is why most self-published authors are going with create space or other print on demand options for printing so again it's going to be a lot easier and thanks for the love it's going to be a lot easier than you 
think to get your book out there. So what does the actual process of turning your ebook into that printed book look like? It will vary depending on what your ebook looks like. If your ebook is just text, what you can do is in most cases go to the service. Again, I think CreateSpace is used by most people. It's what I personally use and it's what I strongly recommend my clients use. You can download a template from CreateSpace, uh, copy and paste your material into the Word document that they'll give you. They'll get that template in Microsoft Word and then you can format your book that way. I'll let you know uh, for a lot of people who aren't as familiar with Microsoft Word, that can get a little tricky. You can work your way through it certainly on your own, although I've come to understand that it's a little easier for me because through all of my graduate work, I did a lot of formatting and a lot of work in Microsoft Word, and so I know what to look for, for example, with different types of section breaks and headers and footers and how that's all linked. So I, I've come to understand that my Microsoft <laughs> Word skills are a little bit higher than some other people's, uh, and that's why I do offer formatting services as well for people who get stuck or who just don't wanna deal with it at all, especially for just textbooks, um, books with only text. Uh, if you have a PDF, really, of anything, even if it's uh, image heavy, you could certainly try uploading that directly just to create space. Um, and if, for example, a lot of people will do ebooks that are eight and a half by 11s. So you could choose a book size that's eight and a half by 11 and upload what you have. The tricky thing is that with printing, no matter where you go, if you do a large run with a traditional printer or if you do a print on demand service, there have to be certain margins and gutters. And depending on how you designed your book, it may or may not meet those specifications. So you might have to go back and redo some of the design, move some things around. And especially if you have a very graphic intensive book as well, you may have to go back and find original photos if any of the photos have been compressed. So any pictures you have will need to be 300 DPI for printing. And a lot of the time they'll get compressed to something like 72 DPI for viewing on a screen. And so that can be something that you'll need to go back and look at. Um, but again, so you could either copy and paste your content into a template that you can get from your print on demand service like CreateSpace or you could give it a try with the formatting you already have if it meets one of the book sizes that they accept. And again, you would have to look at the print on demand service you're using, uh, but certainly CreateSpace has a list. Um, and again, that's what I use, that's what I recommend using. They have a big full list on their website of all of the trim sizes that they offer. And so you could see if the size that your ebook is in is one of those trim sizes. And again, if you've designed your book um, in that eight and a half by 11, which I know a lot of you do, that is a standard trim size that you could run with and give that a try. Uh, so then it's as simple as creating a create space account, uploading your book, getting a great description written that entices your readers to want to buy your book from where they're buying it from. Again, if you're on CreateSpace, you're most likely just going to automatically sell it through Amazon, which is where uh, most people are getting their books these days. Uh, but depending on, again, which print on demand service you use, you can have different channels. Amazon can just distribute, excuse me, uh, if you choose the different channels, expanded distribution, and if you have the right sizes, they can distribute to Ingram Spark, which then uh, other bookstores and things like that could possibly order from that sort of thing. But for most bloggers, if you just want to get your book into print, you don't necessarily need to worry about that. All you need to do is take your manuscript, hi, uh, get it formatted, and then get it into CreateSpace, which then will get your book on Amazon. You can order copies yourself if you want to sell them yourself. 
uh, but it's actually a relatively simple process. And so I hope that if you are thinking, hello, Lynn, if you are a you know, if, if you have an ebook that has been sitting on your website, it, maybe it was a free one, maybe you sell it, I really hope that you'll consider getting it into print because it's, I think, a simpler process than you think with these print-on-demand uh, options. The formatting can be a little tricky, but it's definitely doable. But getting your book out there and again, getting it into print is really going to set your book apart from any other just ebooks. And to be able to say like, oh yeah, you can get my book on Amazon to be able to take a selfie for your social media posts and hold the book up next to you. It just adds a whole other layer of credibility and authority and it just makes your book more real than it is if it's an ebook, even if it's the exact same content, it just really shifts the mindset of the people who are viewing your book. So I really hope that you will consider getting your book into print because it is an incredibly, incredibly powerful way to build your brand and your business and your blog and really everything you're trying to do. So I hope that this or this video has shown you exactly, you know, how simple it can be and how doable it can be. And I hope that it's inspired you to at least consider turning your eBooks into a printed book. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously feel free to leave them in the comments or alternatively, if you just don't want to do any of it and you would rather have somebody do it for you, check out my services. You can find that at blogger.author.com slash services. I have a lot of done for you things that I can do, including formatting your book and getting it uploaded to create space for you. So check that out again, blogger.author.com slash services. If you would rather not deal with it at all, and you just want to be able to get your copies off of Amazon. I'll take care of all the back end for you. So have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you all soon. Take care 